Hello, it's Sarah and Kiwi. Kiwi, get in there. No. Anyway, I'm back. So I finished this little one last night. I posted it on my Facebook. And I just think it's so cute. So compared to this one, that's how big it is. It's literally a votive. I just put a like tea light in there. And I'm really happy with it. I feel like you don't need to get as crazy with the background as I, you know, I, because I don't know how to do it that well, I kind of regret because I think it, it almost distracts from everything else, but not really. Sorry, I'm just cleaning out the <laughs> all the fingerprints and stuff. Um, but I love it. It makes me happy. It's so colorful, and I think it's, you know, it's not perfect either. Let me zoom in. So, you know, I tend to do really neat work. I like to do neat work. It makes me happy. Um, but this Sculpey 3 was so soft. It was really hard to get um, these circles to cut and just, you know, so there's a lot of, uh, you know, flaws, but it's, it's handmade. And then somehow on this fish, I think I just got some other mica powders because I did put mica powders on here. Um, and, you know, with your finger, like I was just doing this little, isn't that cute? Um, so you got to, you know, go with the flow. Don't be so hard on yourself. The one thing I wanted to do was put my name. I have these little um, letter blocks, stamps, and so I forgot. So don't rush, but I rushed to bake it last night. I wanted to bake it um, before I went to bed. Um, you know, and then I do feel like these two colors were too close. So I would change that. I probably would have done the coral orange and then made this, um, change the color of this. So I'll probably do another, and these are super hard because of the size to hold it without smushing everything. So I don't know, maybe I'll have to look into getting some, um, Primo blues because, uh, I'll tell you, it was just really hard to, um, to keep the clay from, like, this one. Okay, so this is from yesterday. It's coming along. Um, but, like, again, the circles are so, they're not, they're just imperfect. I did manage to move the one fish. So, remember, I said this side was too crowded. So, I moved the one fish, and I'm just seeing if I can get some of that orange off there, which it's not going to matter. But I'm really happy with it. I put um, a few more seaweeds over and under. Like I added this seaweed here because it just looked emptier, and I didn't worry about I just tucked it underneath the sea, um, the starfish. I think I did that in another place too. Um, but like overlapping here, I think I, I might have done that. I forget. I did it last night. So you can still add if you want to add. <clears throat> um, all right, so now the finishing touches are going to be mica powders, if you have them, a little bit of bling, and some bubbles. So I didn't add the little circles. Now, you guys might not have these, which, you know, I just think they look nice, but you don't have to do it. And you can always just add bling. You could totally add bling. Like I have... Um, Swarovski crystals, little Swarovski crystals. Um, you could use those for, maybe I'll do that on this one. But these are called, I think they're called either Etchin Pearl or something. They came in a set of three, and I think they're by Sculpey, and they have a round bottom, and it actually makes a little pearl of clay too, which I haven't really used for that reason. I just use them to cut these holes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab this. I'll zoom in a little bit. Okay. And I have to hold it like this to get, so that I'm going to move this so I don't squish it. At my desk is a mess. I have clay everywhere. But what I like to do is, so now I'm going to go around and look, and anywhere it needs something, so right here where this turtle is, I'm just going to put one in the biggest two in the medium, and three in the small. And then I'll probably make, um, so like right here, 
by this fishy like he's making bubbles one and two I don't know if you guys can see because I am definitely tipping it towards myself hi Kiwi now you can always put a hole here and let's see I mean I could put another hole there um, I'm gonna do it I'm just gonna do that so it gets out of hand you know I I'm an overdoer <laughs> I don't know when to stop sometimes so you know just use your own judgment right Kiwi we don't need them there I'll do the white spots I could do one here I am going to put this little rim. I have this piece of blue left over. I just took my scraps, actually. I'll show you. I'll show you what I did. I took my scraps, and I just roll, um, put it through the pasta machine in a straight line. And that's how I got my um, little lip of the votive. I'm going to put one here. I love that these striations are so pretty. And one here and one here and then I'm still gonna do the um, little white dots so I have a piece of white rolled into a snake and I'm just gonna take little just roll it up I'm turning it over I can't I can't hold my hand upside down and I'm just gonna put some here and there And I just push them down. You could make a little um, divot in the clay to put them in, but you don't need to. They'll stick just fine. And for whatever reason, I like to do them in little sets of three. Maybe a smaller one right here. Just kind of fills in the top of the piece a little bit it's a little too small maybe oh, it fell off it wasn't meant to be I gotta take the clay out of those holes I mean you could you could leave them but I'm I do it I want to make like see the circles they'll stay in there I mean they might fall out once they're baked So I did one in a three like that. So there's no rules, no no real rhyme or reason. And let's see how this is the second day. Nope, still sticky as hell. It's really annoying. Cause I mean, and you know what, it may be because it's warm out or, I mean, it's not warm in my house. We have the air on and I mean, it. I'm comfortable, but for whatever reason, this, clay oh you're so annoying but it's okay just you can't let it get to you guys you can't I mean you can oh stabbed it now but it just won't be as much fun you won't have fun so and then like I said I like to stick this back in and kind of fudge it a little and ugh, didn't help you can kind of straighten up your, um, you know what, after it's baked, it, it will pick off too. Just leave it. Don't get crazy over it. Ugh. It is, it is annoying because you do, you put so much work. I think I just saw a comment this morning of what would I charge at a craft show. It's impossible. I hate the whole thing of my art has been, um, sharing it with you guys has been the most fun. Like, I think at heart I'm a teacher. I don't like to, um, when I go to craft shows, it's, I love to talk to the people. That's my favorite. My dad, I remember my dad went with me one time to a, a I hadn't seen him for years. He was kind of struggling in his life and his addiction. And, um, he came with me because my dad was a salesman. And um, he was so impressed with me because he used to sell newspapers back when, before um, the internet, you know, before when newspapers were still important to people. 
Anyway, he uh, would have kiosks and things, you know, or his team would. He was the boss. But anyway, um, I love to talk to the people. And when, when it came to, this is so sticky. So this is not, I mean, it's going to be okay once it's baked. See, it definitely makes, I like what it looks like, so I'm going to keep struggling through it. <laughs> um, anyway, uh. I prefer, like when it comes to the money part, I, don't, I never charge enough because this has taken me probably eight hours, not eight hours, let's see, um, four or five. And if I was going to make five, 10 bucks an hour, that's 50 bucks at least, right? not counting supplies, like then he would tell me, you know, you have to add your supplies, you have to add, you know, he would always go money on me because he, he liked that was his business, you know. And to me, it's not about the business. I was just in it for the fun and the love of the art. And so it would be, even if people didn't buy my stuff, I would just talk to them and um, see, that looks cool. This actually looks like it's supposed to be there. Maybe I'll leave it there. Um I just per really, like, people like, did you make that? Yeah. You know, no, I got to take it out. Um, oh, my God. And they loved it. They loved my stuff. But that's a craft fair. People, you know, maybe I need to get into art shows where people actually appreciate the art form. And that way you can get what you put in. Because, obviously, at a craft fair, People are just want to spend a few bucks. They don't really want to spend. Although I used to sell my um, painted stuff. People, it would go like hotcakes. Like when I went to a show and I, when I used to paint, people would say, hold on. And they would go and run and get their money and come back. So that was a good feeling. I would, I made like $600 one time at a, um, craft show when I was just doing my painted stuff but like after that like the last craft show I did I was probably just bringing odds and ends like a little bit of everything like I would bring some burned stuff and some clay stuff some mosaics you know like a little bit of everything and um it was just for me to get rid of it almost you know, not like get rid of it, like, but just to take it off my hands because I just, did, I don't have room for everything. And yeah, they're all my babies. Anyway, this is so, and look, look at the time it's taking me, right? Like it's, it's not appreciated when you're, you know, people just think, I mean, and plus some, you could just go to a store, a cute, like, we have a very, really cute place around here called Smithville, and it's like a little cottagey um, shops and stuff with like a little lake in the middle, and it's just really cute to go and spend time. And they have cute shops in there, and you could probably find one of these in a shop, like a votive candle holder with like fish on it or something. And, you know, maybe it's 10 bucks, but it might have been made in China. And, but so what? It does, people, that's the value people want for the thing. Do you know what I mean? So that's why I tend to keep a lot of my stuff because I love it. And, oh, MJ, this is so annoying. I should, like, just put this in the refrigerator. I'm done. I'm done making them. I can't do it. I'm going to put the other ones, like, before I do this, I'm going to put them in, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. So I have a few of those. Disappointing because it's so messy looking and that bothers me. Um, my husband won't notice. He doesn't notice things like that. And that's the thing. As a creator, I'm way harder on myself than anyone else. So like even for me to put my stuff out there, it's, it's you know, on YouTube I don't mind because I can ignore it, but in face-to-face, -face, like when you're face-to-face -face with people and people are just like, eh, and they just snub your stuff, I don't know, it's kind of off-putting, kind of hard to feel confident, but they don't, they don't, they love mine usually. So yeah, so I take pride in my work and I want it to look nice and especially if someone's going to buy it, 
Oh my gosh, that's even more, like this is for Joe, like I just said. So he's he's gonna love it regardless. He's not gonna, he's not that guy. He doesn't pick at it. He's not gonna be like, oh my God, this is, I can't put this in my office. Um. All right, so that's enough of that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and, find, before I put the lip on, you gotta be, uh, do that last because I wanna be done holding it, but I am gonna find my little gems and I'll push a few of these blings in there. I'm going to give the fish eyes. Like, look. See on here? I just gave him a little eye. It's just something else you can add. Um, on here, I put... Now, this one doesn't... I mean, it's a tin. So if I were to cut holes in it, you would only... I mean, it might look cute. Like, I might try that. I might do it on this one, and it'll just be silver behind it, almost like a mirror. I'm going to try it on that one, although the clay is so soft. But I just put a little starfish because I didn't have, the mold is too big, but I, I wanted to put a little something else on here. I wish I had like a little shell. Like I have these little creatures. These are so cute. So I'm probably going to put these on the other one. I have lots of more of these tins. They're so small though. It's fun when you're working miniature, but man, with this sticky clay. Uh, where did I leave the bling? Oh, yeah, yeah, Sarah. My death. Oh, see, I have these. Use them. And the eyelets. I never use the eyelets. So let me look on my desk because I definitely took this stuff out last night. So I have these eyelets. Let's use these. I'm going to use probably the gold would look pretty. Um, how do you get them out? Like, oh god, it was upside down. Um, so I have silver. I like the silver. I'm probably going to try to find a, a few silvers. Silver, silver. These could be an option. Because they won't, they shouldn't melt. I mean, I'm pretty sure these are some type of metal. If they're not, I, I doubt they're plastic. But I, you know, I mean, you never know. Sometimes I buy jewelry findings and they're just such cheese. I don't know what they're made out of. I call them cheese. Cheesy. All right, so let me just clean up my mess a little bit. But these are going to be great. So I have... Because I am a mixed media artist, now I call myself a mixed media artist because I have so many supplies, beading, crap, paper crafts. Pull things from your other supplies that can go. I'm going to put this in here. Look at this. This is Wade. It's English. Um, and I got this online though. But you used to, I used to collect these. I still have a bunch from tea bags, the Red Rose tea bags. I don't know if you, any of you guys have it, but he's one of the little characters from that, but this is called like a little, I don't know what it's called. All right, so I'm just gonna hold it upside down because I can't look at it. Uh-oh. The clay isn't deep enough. Oh, but that made a hole <laughs> really nicely. All right, so this isn't gonna work out because see how Eyelets have a really long stem to them because, um, I'm going to see if I can do that again. Because you got to crimp it. So let's see what happens. Oh, it left it in there. Obviously because I, um, but it really cuts it clean. Ooh, that was good. Um, so yeah, that's not going to work, but you know what else I have? So I have the bling. These are um, brownish, don't use them. Here it is, this is my bling situation here. Oh my God, my desk. These are Aurora Borealis, I have red, and I've gotten these on clearance, guys, or I have gotten them uh, regular too. Oh boy, I see some that I like. These are from um, Hobby Lobby, for sure, and I happen to have a Hobby Lobby, Michaels, AC Moore, and Joann's in my area, that's why I told Joe we can never move from here, <laughs> um, 
so I get stuff from everywhere and that's why I never list my products that I use that's why my thing is use what you have and just try it and don't you know you don't need what I have to make art and it's not gonna look like mine and so um, all right I have three of them bigger ones I maybe need four I maybe need five four five but these are glass for sure um, the plastic ones they'll work because you don't really set your oven too high when you do polymer clay it usually hey kiwi she's having fun <gasps> Look, there's blue ones. Let's see. These are, see the random colors like this? It's because they're on clearance. So they're not the most popular colors, but I still get them because they still look, oh, there were some loose ones. All right, so I'm going to do them. I have these and then this. I never use these. And this is the nail polish stuff. There's some, um, eyelet looking things in here that I can probably use so let's see I'm gonna turn it to here those are gold and I think these are silver so let's see it's for nail art and they should work but the problem would be how do I embed them in the clay so let me get my little thing again but all these little details make me happy you know I mean they're not necessary obviously they're time consuming so you do you guys and just know that um, it's if it's for you especially put put your all into it let's say I don't know where I want to put this put one here it's upside down and then you would use a flat like um, an eraser I'm just going to use the back of my exacto knife and see if I can get it to embed yes I can and I think it adds something so I'm gonna put a few here and there oh kiwi you are so sweet I love you kiwi that's my bird And making decisions on where to put them is always fun. And I know it's upside down because I can't hold it any other. Like right now I have to move it. Ugh, my hand's stuck. So I'm going to put one down here. Let me put a bling here and there too. Oops, a big bling. Sometimes I really do need to look at it. And if they, I really, I wanted it to embed. Am I zoomed? You can actually see in person that the clay kind of came up around it because I smushed it in there. And that's a good thing because it'll hold on to it. So there's one, I gotta definitely put one over here. I don't know if it'll stay here because this is like a, oh, it did, it embedded. I'm gonna put one down here, just a little hidden one. Oh, it slid up. That was gross, I mean not gross. <laughs> But it like slid up into the clay. I mean, it didn't look good. Didn't look smooth. All right, I need one in this area. This looks so bad. I kind of want to just cover it up. I'm going to put one right here. I'm going to put it over that little hole. use your finger actually and when you're done baking you can always wipe everything down you can wash it really all right I like it I think I've gone hog wild and done enough stuff to it do I need one more no put this in here get it out of the way I want to put some mica powders on here guys I know I don't want to take too much time I'm just I I'm having fun 
So I have out a few colors. I have, I'm going to move this. This is just, oops. As I grab it, it gets crushed. I'm just going to move my tile. I have so much going on on my desk. Let me zoom up. I'm sorry. All right, put this down. I should just show you my desk right now. It's crazy. I'm going to put this over on my pasta machine. Ah, oh, so I have some space to work. So I have, this one's called Duo Green Purple. These are Pearl X powders. Spring Green. I don't know why I'm yelling. Pumpkin Orange. Bright Yellow. Misty Lavender. Copper. Perfect Bronze, actually. Salmon Pink. All right. So I'm going to use this salmon pink on my coral, which I love this coral. It's so cool. I hope, and I smushed the yellow one a little bit when I baked it. See how I like, I must have been touching it. And it, anyway, you can't tell. It still looks so cool. I'm so glad I saw that video. <laughs> I'm going to use a brush. And let's see, I'm going to do the yellow on the yellow. And all this does is make it, shiny so it's kind of like you used um, metallic clay and I'm gonna try not to get it all over everything else which is the hard part too and because we um, put all those nooks and crannies in there it's gonna take onto the raised areas and not to the other areas I'm gonna use my brush to hit a few places too, but it goes a little crazy when I use the brush. See the difference? I hope you can. Anyway, in person you can totally see the difference, so I would suggest mica powders. They really add a pop. I'm gonna do that salmon. I'm gonna change colors with my finger. That salmon color. Oh, I forgot to put their eyeballs in. That's one thing I wanna do. I just like it. I'm going to just use these white ones since I have them. I don't really know how many fish I have, so let me take a few out. Oops. Oops. And I'm using the flat part of this um, X-Acto blade. Gently, Sarah. <gasps> Look how cute! Alright, sorry. It makes me excited. And I think I'm going to give my turtle, because I smushed his face, and so I just poked um, holes in his eyes, but I'm going to put these. He's going to have blingy eyes. Oh, my gosh. Silly makes how it makes me so excited, but it does. You know, I'm not the only one, because when I, when I was watching the, um, oh, dear the video um, that I, the class I took, Sean Pettit, she kept getting so happy from her um, jelly plate prints. Oh, come on. So I have to hold it just at the right. Oh, gosh darn it. Anywho, you get the idea. I'll do it off camera. So I'm going to put their eyes in after. And what else? Okay, so back to the mica powders. So I have this green, let's see, spring green or duo green purple. I want to put this duo green purple on my, I don't know, maybe the turtle. I don't know why. I'm going to put... What should I put on the starfish? I have orange. What did I put on the sand? On the little one, I put, I think, copper. Can you see that? I like that. But on this one, I put white. And I think I like the white. I'm going to put the white on this one. The copper looks good. Maybe I can do both. But I think I'm going to put white, which is right here. So this is it. The little details, and then I'm just going to do it. 
and again because you we put those little uh oh then I just went into copper let's go copper then I'll do both this is not copper Ugh. this is copper I like the copper because it gives it a little grounded feeling I like the white too so anything it's your it's your ocean guys I'm gonna put the white on the mussels on the mussel shells because that will make them um, so I'm gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna like shake it upside down so that a little bit gets in the lid change my finger color so just a little and it gives it that like metallic yeah I like it all right and then I'll put the weight on my seashell too I get so excited so this is just the finishing touches see any more white no I mean I could just hit these doesn't need it um how about ooh what should we put on that um salmon pink just I could use the brush I guess it's just gonna go crazy it really looks cool on these um, so I'm gonna make like a couple more of these I'll post the pictures on my Facebook channel no no yes my Facebook um, I don't use a personal Facebook at all. I never post. I have a few things on it, but it was from years ago. And I don't know. I just have never gotten into posting my personal life stuff on Facebook. But I'm starting to think it wouldn't be that bad of an idea because what if there are like-minded people? Like if I say on my Facebook, I want to go um, paddle boarding. Then someone might be like, oh, I want to go paddle boarding. And the next thing you know, I have a paddle boarding buddy. So I'm starting to think of, think of it differently. Because at first I think it's like too much sometimes, unless you're promoting something. Because I don't know. I, I don't have like that much I want to promote of my personal life. You know what I mean? Like it feels like it's good. I'm good. I don't need to, to share everything. But then, I mean, this is how I am, right? I'm very sherry. So it's kind of weird. I don't know why I've never gotten into it, but I just never did. Um, Got to do the green, guys, and then I'll try to get this wrapped up. Um, I'll do it off camera. All right, I got everything done. One last thing. I, I have this color, pink gold. And, you know, I have these sets, and... You know you got to use them all so I'm gonna I didn't put anything on the fishes so I'm gonna put this on the fishes I already gave them their eyeballs but it just makes the details show up more too from the mold and you know what what the heck I'm gonna put some on this seahorse see look at all the scales showed up so cool. I like that. I want to put that on my this too. Um, all right. So what we're going to do, oh, you know what the last thing I didn't do was this little, I didn't do anything on him. He looks cute. Okay, good. So I got everybody now. I put everything on everything. All right. We want to make a lip on our jar. It's just going to make it look finished and, uh, help hide the 
the unevenness and all that stuff. So all I did was took a bunch of my scraps that I used to make my um, background and didn't really mush them up together too much. I kind of kept them like this. and put them in the pasta machine so you don't totally lose your um, so you get something like that I'm gonna set this aside because I already have a piece and I fold then once I did that I folded it into a long piece and then you put it through the pasta machine like that so I'll do that one more time and my pasta machine rolls it out wonky because I've been brutal to my poor pasta machine. Now this is probably, it's not on your thick, thinnest setting. So look, this is how thick it is. It's pretty thick. So compared to my seaweed, it's double. It's double the thickness probably. So middle, middle setting. Like this is on a number like five or six. And whoop, yeah. This is what happens because I don't have a, uh, <laughs> my rollers are messed up because I've forced clay in there. So I have this piece, which won't go all the way around. I'm going to just take a straight edge and make, oh, boo. Continue it. It's going to be, I'm going to like curve now, go this way. Try to just get a straight edge. That's kind of long. So I got that side. And now I'm going to try and cut it into a strip that's going to be able to go around the whole thing. So I want it to be pretty straight or pretty same um, thickness, same width, I should say. So I'm just going to eyeball it, hopefully you can see what I'm doing, and I just put my blade in and just gently follow the other line, and I have shadows, it's a little harder when you have shadows, and I'm getting wider I can tell, oopsie, stay, Got narrower there, but that's okay. Because I'm just going to try and make it all the way around. It just makes it easier. Uh, I kind of petered out over there. So I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to, I'm not even worried about what it looks like up here. And I'm going to place it on the lip. So using my thumb, I'm putting it right to the top of the jar. And I'm just going to walk it around, giving a little bit of pressure and my thumb to kind of make it touch the top. Oopsie, see, and my fingernail just totally got the, and I don't even have any nails, but. And you're gonna have to move it. Got a little pink on there. Oh, cause I probably took the, my fingernail did it with the pink. Doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, so just guide it. So this is kind of like, a, it's like a square shape almost, rectangular. And just guiding it with my thumb. We're going to make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it, Kiwi. Gonna make it all the way around. And voila. Tonight's season three, Handmaid's Tale, starts. Can't wait. It's going to be good. 
I, I forget a lot of it. I think it's been a while since it was on. But that looks good. It makes it look finished. And you could put a little um, mica powder on there too. You could put little, you know, put indents or make decorate it some way or something. You can go to town. But for me, that's all I need. I'm going to give it a little more pressure, kind of pushing it. And I don't feel like I actually went over the rim, but if you did, you go like this. See, I got a little. And clean it up. I think it could be higher, actually. But, oh, I'm trying not to squish it. See, look at all these little annoying things. All right, but that's it. I got to bake it. I'm happy. I'm happy, happy, happy. It's such a happy piece. This one definitely has more colors than my other one. Like I went with brighter colors. So excited. Not as excited about those circles. The way the clay is it makes me mad. So just before you bake, you always want to go around and see if there's anything. Like I had crushed one of my... um on this one I told you the yellow I had smushed it and I didn't even know so just give it a once over and make sure it's how you want it because that's it once you bake it it is done and some of the little um, clay that's in the holes you will be able to scrape out when you're done if there's little um, just random bits, but you're not going to be able to fix your the circle shape anymore. So that's it, guys. I hope you like it. I hope you make one. Post your pictures of the of it online. Let me see what your undersea world looks like. OMG! Look, I put little eyes in the turtle. He's so sweet. Oh, you know what? I want to put my name. S R A. This is all I do. I haven't really, I haven't, um, see, I don't even think I put my name on here. Ooh, and you could put feet. So if you have some um, rem, uh, scrap, you know, I wouldn't use your, you know, it can be scrap. And just make four little balls and put it on the bottom and you could have feet. I don't think I'm going to make feet. Oh, I got a gem down there. That's nice. And there's a bubble. That's funny that I got a gem. Hi, Kiwi. Kiwi just nudged herself under my ear. She's so cute. Um, She's my bird, in case those of you who don't know. All right, so I'm going to just put my name with a stamp. S. A. R. Hey. Yay, I got my name and a bling. All right, so, and I knew you could put the, the year, but I don't have any stamps that have the year, the numbers, so I should get a number stamp. And then you bake it according to the manufacturer's um, directions on the package, which I'll show you in one second. I'm just pinching my top again, which I shouldn't. I want to leave it. I'm going to put it on a tile. So I bake in a... Um, toaster oven. I got one. It's kind of a big, biggish one. And I will bake it just like this on a tile. Because I have some big things that I put in there. Um, the packaging, so for Primo, let's see if I have any Sculpey packaging here. Oh, you bet. Here we go. Sculpey 3. On the very top, right where it has the name, it says 275 Fahrenheit, 130 Celsius, 15 minutes per quarter inch. Okay, so let's see. So a quarter inch is, I got to get a better ruler. My Tim Holtz ruler has seen better days. It's got no numbers left on it. Um, oh, geez. So a quarter inch, this is the inches. A quarter inch is pretty big. So this is a half inch. A quarter inch is this big. 
so I don't think I mean we have some areas that are that thick but for the most part it's not very thick especially the Sculpey um, some of the other colors might be with um, Primo and in that case the Primo says 275 30 minutes per quarter inch so the only thing I do is I just bake the whole thing for 30 minutes because you can't over bake it in other words you can burn it so I always tent my um, I make a little tent out of tin foil and I basically just put this in the oven for a half an hour at 275 I also have a thermometer like an oven thermometer that you put in the oven and um, make sure that it gets to 275 that everything's going you know beforehand and then I I'll even bake it for a little longer sometimes I really don't think I have much this might be a little bit thicker than a quarter inch so in order for it to be solid like you might I might need to go a little longer but I didn't have any trouble on this one um, you know he's really thick this is really thick I would say that's a quarter inch this is totally um, ad whatever the word would be oh my god I love this one um, so anywho so I will just put this in the oven just like this with a tent of tin foil over it and it doesn't it just is literally like three-sided it goes up I bend the tin foil into a little tent just so that the heat isn't hitting the clay because I have burned it before but it's also probably because my temperature wasn't right or whatever like because I'm impatient and I don't check every time and so it's my own fault so make sure you go you know if you go to all the trouble to make something you should go to all the trouble to to cook it right so you don't burn it and mess it up so um, these guys have yellow eyes so cute so that's it and then I want like I said I want you guys I would do the same thing sorry with this tin you never want to bake with it closed because the pressure inside I don't know I'm not a scientist but you don't want to close this and bake it so just bake them separately I'm gonna put my name on the bottom I might texturize it a little bit too um, I did some mica powders on here but I would just bake this just like that or you know like that it's fine um, and the same amount of time even if it has metal it's fine um, so I want to see I want to see what um, you guys make all right that's it this was fun thank you so much for watching have a great day